Luckily for me, I've been able to prepare a booklet here of all of the work that my team and I have been doing over the last three years. And this is what we are showing today, that once the Democrat Labour Party gets the opportunity to be the representative for the constituency, that much more will happen in this constituency on behalf of the residents. So this is just a small portion of some of the work that we've been doing in the community, in this Dickens-Farm community, in the Pearl Bay community, in the Freehill community, in the St. Stephen's area community. We have been doing our work and after the election, we will, we will continue to push forward in a much bigger way for the people of St. Michael Northwest. Yeah, so this morning we are in Deacon's Farm and we have a full team out um, and we are going to be talking to the residents more and more as we go. Um, this is not the first time we've been in Deacon's Farm, but we're returning now to actually ask and, and ask and plead for that support for the Democratic Labour Party. The response this morning has been extremely good, right? This community feels abandoned. The representation has been very poor or limited. And the Democratic Labour Party, through myself, will ensure that we bring representation to Deacon's Farm area and to the widest St. Michael Northwest constituency. As we stand here, we're seeing issues um, on, on resolved issues. We have wells still need to be repaired. We have um, unemployment opportunities are very missing from these persons here in this community and bills are stacking up. So we are here to let the people of the Confirm know that the Democratic Labour Party will come in and be the representative that they need in this time going forward. We are going to bring democracy back to Barbados. We are going to pull Barbados together so that everybody goes along on this journey and not just one set of people. Um, obviously there's New Year's Day. We have 18 more days before the election. What else is well, unfortunately, this is a COVID election. So we are going to try to be as responsible as we can to send our messages to the constituents. We're going to see a lot of door-to-door -door canvassing um, in, in smaller numbers, but um, we, we are going to ensure that we get to the houses and we knock on the doors and everybody that we can meet in the next two to three weeks, we meet them.